going on? Well, I did get an interest in some uh, different ways of performing art. I've been meaning to make videos demonstrating how fluid it is on different platforms or software. But you know, doing that and working, I just haven't had the mental capacity. I got sick uh, a while back and I haven't really jumped back on this. And instead you're seeing like me changing my truck mirror. I was gonna do car wrapping today, but um, the vinyl was very damaged, so that is a thing. Well, I had an interview with D. Patrick. They were giving me a range between 15 to 17 dollars an hour, but it would have been a solo job. I would have handled, I feel like a decent amount of the marketing would have been making the scripts, would have been supplying the equipment, would have been shooting it, would have been editing it, I would have been doing it all. I don't know which one bombed it more, them or me, because I felt like I had my fair share of uh, bad responses to questions, but to be fair, they weren't really selling the job that well either though. Like it's a video, yeah, at CVS, I will be almost at $18 an hour, so I haven't got her anything back, so. I'm assuming that's going south. Um, college was supposed to happen. Technically, it is. Um, I'm a little bit over the hill on one class, which is Spanish. So I was going to go to Bloomington for my video classes, but um, there was a lot of communication issues and it didn't get sorted out until it was too late to sign up, basically. So all I could sign up for was the one that was technically at Ivy Tech. Because that was one of the base classes I need to get my degree. My mental capacity has been really overwhelmed as of late. Uh, one random thing I got into is uh, making keyboards. Apparently that's relatively easy too. So I've, I've been finding on Etsy and Amazon different like keycaps like this one's a GameCube. It did spark an interest in maybe making like the ultimate editing keyboard and like making a video of that. The one issue with my first keyboard is um, I wanted it to be RGB and I also wanted to be able to program it which I just so happened to pick one that did not do that. It was one of the cheaper, cheaper ones so I guess I'm not surprised. The main reason why I chose this base is because it reminds me of uh, the N64 days when the, the controllers were like see-through and you can see all the tech in there. The two softwares I was talking about also, um, first it was Twine and I think, yeah, the the format was Sugar Cube and then it was RPG Maker, MV, and then MZ. Did do some voice overlay work quote unquote on the work part because it was I think supposed to be used as almost like an interview uh, for Upwork. Um, they randomly came to me and asked about doing it but I didn't see it until like a week later and that, so I think that's what really kind of cut me at the heels I guess as I was a little too late. As far as my past work, been a lot of music artists, um, had some really interesting clients with Family and Fit um, and New Harmony and uh, the boot camp gym. I was trying to get something going with the Planet Fitness, but that's being more still than I would like to admit. Done videos in a while, but the videos I have done have actually been doing relatively decent. Um, tutorials which I, I actually I like doing them and I like the concept of me helping prove the world that we can do anything we just haven't been showed how well enough or whatnot um, so that's kind of like my present there uh, the future of my video work is I want to do some more tutorial work um, I want to demonstrate how making video games on Twine 
is easy and how making games RPG Maker is easy. RPG Make, well, see, they both can look intimidating, and I, I want to unintimidate. Is basically what I'm saying. Because um, if you just jumped in without a second thought, you would probably tell me I'm a liar. Um, beyond that, uh, from what I can tell from my schedule, from my CVS job, maybe I am reducing hours a little bit, not as much as I'd like, but um, if that's the case, then I might actually start doing vlogs and, and start doing more creative stuff. So, here's the open. I did make some moves that kind of restricted my cash funds a little bit, but I'm hopeful. So yeah, thank you. If you've subscribed, thank you for staying subscribed and thanks for following me. Thanks for popping in just to see, you know, hey, you still alive? You know, just, just thank you, really. Um, if you ever have anything specific you would like me to touch base on and like see or try to show how easy it is, seriously, reach out to me. Um, I'm, I love doing that stuff or just any video work in general. Um, all right, catch you on the flip side.